Alright, so this past week, I went to, you guessed it, Mount Rushmore. Now, this is more South Dakota in general. It wasn't just Mount Rushmore, because that would get pretty boring after an entire week. Mount Rushmore is really just one of the stops. Um, and the stone carving there was, of course, Mount Rushmore itself, with Washington and Lincoln, Jefferson, and Teddy Roosevelt, the first Roosevelt. Uh, and here are a bunch of the tools that they used to make it, some hand tools and also some automated machines. They look kind of old, but they are almost a century old, so it makes sense. Uh, and here is Gutsum Borglum, the guy who designed Mount Rushmore, and actually came up with the design for it and helped sculpt it. Uh, and then we also went to the Wild Animal Loop, where we fed donkeys here, carrots, which is kind of fun because they stuck their heads in the truck. And we also saw buffalo. We didn't feed the buffalo, because they might charge the truck, um, but we did see them, and we got rather close. Again, inside the truck, but still, it's pretty cool. We also saw the Eye of the Needle, which were these giant rock spires that kind of looked like needles, and it had a hole in it, which kind of looked like the Eye and the Needle. So that was kind of neat. Uh, we also went into a cave uh, for a couple hours, which was fun. We saw a bunch of rock formations. Like at the beginning there, that was quartz that you saw. And at the top here is stalactite, and the bottom is stalagmite which is pretty cool. This is a soda straw, which is like stalactite and stalagmite, except it's hollow in the center. And then we have a bunch of other cave formations that I don't know the name of, but they're kind of cool. This here, however, is called cave bacon. It's not actual bacon, of course. It just kind of looks like bacon. Um, and we also did a bunch of hiking here, because, you know, it's South Dakota and there's a bunch of rock formations, what you do. Um, and we, he, this here, we hiked to the top of Little Devil's Tower, because there's an actual Devil's Tower, which we didn't go to, which is essentially the inner of a volcano when the rest has collapsed away. Uh, but at the top of Little, De De Little Devil's Tower is just this really cool scenery, which I showed you. We also went on these pigtails, which is this here, which is essentially you drive under a bridge you just drove over, which I just think is kind of cool. Uh, and then we also spent a couple hours at the Rock and Fossil Museum, which is what you're seeing now. This here is the rock section, which has a bunch of minerals and other assorted rocks that I have no idea the name of. I mean, you can pause them and look at each of the rocks and see if you can identify them, but there are a lot here, I'm not even going to try to start guessing them. Here we have those skulls, because it, most of it's fossils, and those up there are primate skull, or mammal skulls, and there, you see, there's us! Well, the middle and the middle right ones are actual homo sapiens, so they are actually us, but those are all primates. Here you see a bunch of other various dinosaur skulls, uh, and these here I believe are velociraptors. Now it's actually a bit of a misconception. Velociraptors are actually small, a little bit bigger than a turkey. The ones in Jurassic Park are not actually velociraptors, those are closer to Utahraptors. Um, and it's kind of funny, because they commented, hey, we did create the dinosaur, and then they discovered it in Utah, of course. Now, that's not how it actually works, but they just kind of joked about it. You also saw there were some eggs, which were pretty cool. Now, I'm showing a lot of fossils. That's most of the video, as you're probably getting to notice. However, we didn't spend most of our time at the fossil museum. Most of it was a bunch of kind of outside with landscape shots. And that fossil there, that kind of looks like a dragon, that's probably why people think dragon, thought dragons existed. Um, but anyways, the point is, Landscape shots are cool, but that one is really enough, I feel, because, like, I mean, kind of it's the same. Fossils are more different. You know, here are whale fossils, and there's another big fossil. So I decided to do a bunch of fossils, even though that's not what we mostly did. There's an ancient turtle, and there's an ancient <sighs> dinosaur that's essentially what Loch, the Loch Ness Monster is based off of. I don't remember the name of it. Uh, and then here we have a bunch of shells. Those up there, I think, are sharks. Let's see, but then again, on the bottom, we have a bunch of shells, which are pretty cool. Uh, now we have just some skulls that are not aquatic. Uh, and here we have alligators. The one I'm zooming in right now is a modern-day alligator, I think, for North America. The one on the left is Super Croc, and this one is another really large alligator. So, yeah, they were big. Here we have a mammoth, and then a really small, either baby or pygmy mammoth, not sure which one. Here we have a saber-toothed cat, which is pretty neat. And then here we have a bunch of carnivorous dinosaur skulls. Most of them, I believe, are T-Rex, but not all of them, just so you know. Yeah, so those are pretty cool. And then we have a um, T-Rex 
fossil there. Then this is a, what I think is a pterodactyl, not sure. And now we just have a bunch of assorted fossils. Some of these are replicas and some of these are actual fossils. I wouldn't be able to tell you which ones are which, with the exception of a couple two, which I'll mention in a sec. But it's just kind of cool because they are replicas, but still they replicas of actual fossils, so it's pretty cool to see them. Uh, and as I was mentioning, here is a replica of Sue, which is 86% complete by bone count. It is one of the most complete and well-preserved T-Rex fossils. Uh, it was found in the Badlands, which is in South Dakota. Not a place we visited, but still in South Dakota. Um, but uh, the actual Sioux version is stored in the Chicago Field History Museum, I think is the name of it. But it's in Chicago somewhere. So, if you're in Chicago, you want to see an actual dinosaur, there you can go. This here is an actual fossil of Stan, which I think was also found in South Dakota. Um, which... It's just pretty cool. And as I mentioned, there are some actual fossils and some replicas, but it's just pretty cool to see an actual T Rex fossil. Maybe that's the second most complete fossil that has been found for T Rexes, of course. But, hope you enjoyed it, and see ya.